Last week, went out of convenience store. The young, attractive cashier acted like she knew Paula's husband. Paula, our listener, uh, thought it was weird. Her husband was acting weird, called Paula crazy for bringing it up. We have the update now. Okay, she says, hey, Ben and Kelly. Wow. I wasn't expecting the huge response. Mm. But thanks to everybody who called in and for giving me the courage to not just forget about this and sweep it under the rug. I didn't want to risk bringing it back up with, quote, Wade. We'll call him Wade. Right. Because of how upset it made him, at least not yet. Mm -hmm. Before I go any further, I should tell you that my husband hasn't had the cleanest record. We've worked through infidelity on his part in the past, so my BS radar was on high alert. Mm. I don't remember who suggested this, but I decided to frequent the convenience store and pick some things up uh, and pick up little things with the idea that I would run into this woman again. Mm -hmm. After a couple of days, sure enough, walk in, see her restocking in the aisle. I decided I was just going to go talk to her woman to woman. Guys, she was so much prettier than I remember. Oh, God. Ugh. <laughs> anyway, I introduced myself, and I can see her recognize me on her face. Mm. I can tell she's worried. I'm going to attack her or something. But I assure her that I'm here alone and just need two questions answered. How do you know my husband, and have you gotten with him? Mm. She waits a good ten seconds. Before she says anything, and then she says, she can't tell me how she knows him. But yes, she has, but not all the way. Oh my gosh. She said she remembered my husband specifically because he was a real jerk to her, and that's why she made a point to say hi to him when she saw him come in with me the other day. What? I think I knew what the answer was going to be. And I was proud of myself for not freaking out right there in the aisle of the convenience store, but I was composed and asked if she knew he was married. She admitted that in her other job, she sees a lot of different people and told me, honey, they're all married. Oh. (laughs) I thanked her, didn't ask any more questions. Mm. She apologized, and I had my answer. I had told him after the last time we worked through his infidelity that if he slipped up again, I was out. Mm. At this point, I didn't care about his threats to leave. I wanted to know his side. Later that night, I told him I ran into that pretty cashier again and asked him how he knew her. Mm -hmm. He got angry, started trying to gaslight me, saying he told me not to bring it up anymore and he can't trust me Mm. and obviously i can't get past this oh geez we went back and forth for a little while and mutually decided to take a break in our relationship he moved out into his friend's place and i'm trying to figure out what's next that's all i have for you guys right now i know i should be more sad about this but i almost have this feeling of relief while telling you this so thank you wow yeah. In her other... Yeah. I mean, I... No. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Well. I mean, her tu- intuition was on point because he has a past um, yeah, and, record and, of doing that. You know, it's like when things like that happen, trust your gut sort of thing. Yep. And you got to trust your gut. And then if we were the little nudge to help you trust your gut, I'm happy. I, I'm happy that we could be yeah. there for you. I'm oh. not. I'm not happy that this is what happened. But right. I and that she's going through this y- again. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. So, um. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Thank you, uh, for following back up with us. I know. I know that it was probably hard. And um, also, we did send some pestering emails. We did. <laughs> we did. It's the aftercare program. Right. Right. We like to follow up listen, and just make sure you're doing okay. Listen, all of the texts that are coming in, I am not going to play. Damn, no, Mom. I am not going to play I'm in love with a stripper. Yeah, no, what is the matter with you? I am you? not playing that. You no. guys are awful, awful no. people. Valerie, no. <laughs> no. Okay.
Oh, all right. Thank Mandy you. Bay says I'm proud of her. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, you yeah. know, you, you handled yourself. It sounds like with maturity, you kind of knew what was coming, and it's hard to sometimes face that down in the moment. And yeah, uh, Justin's like, good for her, mm-hmm. proud of her. That's a tough thing to do. Yeah, yeah. But you all know right. what? She's gonna get herself in a much better situation. And you know, and and Allie said, I'm just glad she recognized he was gaslighting her. Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm, here's the thing. It's probably not the first time that that's happened. It was not her first rodeo, for yeah. sure.